finally, it's almost summer break again. You guys make any plans? Thomas and I are going to the beach on Saturday if you want to come. Ew, I hate sand. How about we get on Minecraft instead? Sorry, dude. The weather's great and things are starting to go back to normal, so we want to take advantage of that. Lame. Hey, Gerald, do you want to go to the beach with me and Thomas on Saturday? It's going to be lots of fun. Ooh, sure. I'll just have to ask my parents. Hey, can I come too? No, Gina, you're not invited. Wow, rude. Guess it means I'll be spending my weekend expanding my intelligence while the rest of you wasted on meaningless dribble. You do you. Good morning, class! <sighs> Deep breaths, Lizzie. It's just a few more weeks of this. I know I said I'd be starting today with a quiz, but I'm actually in a bit of a rush. No quiz! We're listening. My wife and I are making a quick trip to visit family, and as it turns out, I accidentally booked a flight that leaves in two hours. I told you to double check all the information! Now help me pack the diapers! Ugh. Anyway, unfortunately that means I can't be present for today's class, so- No more school! Huh? What? No school? Sweet. Bye, guys. Wait, Barry, I didn't finish what I was- Saying. Now, I won't be present for today's class, However, the district is requiring you all to remain in the Zoom call. Why? What's the point if it's just us? That's the thing. You're still required to be here, and I'd rather you not goof off while school is in session. So it is with great solace that I have to ask Gina to be your substitute teacher for today. What? You're trusting Gina to handle the class? Please, Mr. Dempsey, there has to be another way! I'm sorry, class. I already have one strike from last semester for misusing the teacher's lounge, and I can't get another or else I risk my tenure with the school. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Dempsey! It's such an honor, really! <sighs> Gina, since I'm allowing you to take on the role of teacher's aide next year, consider this a test. If you check your student email, I've sent you my lesson plan for the day. Please follow it exactly and make no deviations. If everyone can behave and turn in today's work on time, I'll cut the work on your final study guides in half. Really? And if you don't? Well, I think you've all been in this class long enough to know what consequences lie ahead. I promise I won't let you down, Mr. Dempsey. Still waiting on the diapers! Oh man. Good luck, class. I tried to make today easy for you, so please don't mess things up. Good luck, Gina. Bye, Mr. Dempsey! Have fun on vacation! Have a good weekend, everyone! Whew. Well, it was nice seeing you guys. I think I'm gonna head out now. Wait, Lizzie, you can't leave early. Remember what Dempsey said? Does it look like I care? Dempsey isn't gonna know if I leave as long as I turn something in later. Really? Guess it means I'm gonna have to write a note explaining your departure then. You wouldn't. Looks like you're staying then. <sighs> now let me check the lesson plans real quick. So when are you guys getting vaccinated? No off-topic discussions during class time. And Arnold, stop playing Minecraft. You suck at it anyway. Oh man. So it looks like Mr. Dempsey wants you to read chapter 47 and answer the questions at the end. It's just reading today? Sweet. But from the looks of it, that chapter only goes over the five standard systems of thermochemistry, which is way too easy this late in the year. Oh no. So I'm just gonna make the reading homework today and instead teach you one of my favorite concepts in thermochemical science. Wait, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Everyone stay here! I need to go find my bomb calorimeter real quick. What about a bomb? Guys, she's insane. What are we gonna do? We can't let Gina run the class. We have to figure out a way to distract her. Or better yet, convince her to let us leave early. Hmm. Arnold, what do you think? <coughs> huh? <coughs> Dang it, I keep dying! You're not supposed to dig straight down. Hey, what if all of us made excuses to leave class? That's good, Gerald. That's good. I call sick! I call dentist appointment! Uh, I call power outage? Dang it, you guys took all the good ones. You can be sick too. There's no way she's gonna believe we both got spontaneously sick. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back with the calorimeter! <coughs> <laughs> wow, that's a really fancy thing you got there. Oh, thank you, Lizzie. It's a par 6400 automatic isoparable. Too bad I have to go now. While you were gone, my mom told me I have a dentist appointment, like, right now. Oh. Well, she should have planned better. <coughs> yeah, and I just contracted this really nasty cough. I think I gotta <coughs> get some rest. You can mute yourself. <coughs> yeah, I'm coughing too. It must be that flu going around. Real nasty one, that flu. Wait. It's not flu season! 
<coughs> Does this mean I can stop coughing now? And Lizzie, you had your routine dental appointment last month. You don't need to go back until October. What the? How do you know that? And Arnold, what are you doing? Oh, my power went out. You're playing Minecraft. Huh? Sorry, I can't hear you. It's dark. All right, guys. Very funny, but you're not getting out of class that easily. Oh man. Dang it, Gerald, your plants sucked. All right, so here's the bomb calorimeter. It's used for... Making bombs? No, Thomas. It's used to calculate the number of calories in food. If you ever decide to turn your brain on, you'll know that this is one of the most important real-world applications of thermochemical science. Can't you just, like, Google that? Sure, Lizzie, if you're not interested in learning the process. I'm not, though. Whatever, I don't care. <sighs> anyway, so the first thing you have to do is turn the calorimeter on. Now I pre-filled the chamber with 2,000 grams of deionized water and I've left the bomb inside there too. Is Gina gonna blow herself up? It's the least she could do for making us suffer for this. Shut up you guys, it's not a bomb! Alright, now give me a second while I calibrate this. Oh, are you done yet? Almost. Wait, I almost forgot. What should I put in here? Uh, It has to be food so we can isolate its caloric value. I still don't know why we can't just Google it. Hey, Gino, what's the hardest to reach thing in your kitchen? What? Uh, well, my mom's been hiding her candy stash from my dad, and that's pretty hard to get to. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, great idea, Thomas. I mean, I'll have to ask my mom first. That's okay, take your time. All right. Stay here and don't do anything stupid, okay? What was that all about? Well, I figured it's probably gonna take Gina 10 minutes to get whatever she needs, and by that time, class will be over already. Oh, I see. Better idea than Gerald's, that's for sure. Dang it! Hey, does anyone know where Jeremy is? Huh, maybe he had some work thing to do or something. Okay, so for the beach this weekend, am I bringing the towels or are you? You're bringing the towels, I'm bringing the LaCroix and the veggie platter. Ew, LaCroix? And a veggie platter? More like, ooh. Shut up, you guys! LaCroix is the perfect healthy alternative to sugary soft drinks. You gotta stop simping for her, Thomas! Come on, guys, don't do this again! Wait, is this a regular thing you guys talk about? Uh, yeah, you've totally messed up Thomas! No, she hasn't! Pookie, I can explain! Gerald, you are so uninvited to the beach on Saturday. I don't care, at least I won't be stuck with water that tastes like TV static. And Arnold, I'm banning you from my Minecraft server. I don't care either. I don't even like creative mode. Oh god, I don't have a shield! Alright, I'm back! Mm. My mom was very kind to loan mm. me a few different types of candy, so this should end up being a great experiment. Can you write up the boys, Gina? They were bullying me while you were gone. Hey, no we weren't! Yeah, we were just laying down the facts. Guys, come on. I'll write you up later. Anyway, now that we have all our materials, the next step is to open the calorimeter and place the candy into the chamber. All right, I hope you're all paying attention because this part requires a lot of concentration. I just have to- ah! <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry, my attempts. I had to go to jury duty this morning and I rushed as fast as I can. <sighs> <sighs> Guys, where's Mr. Dempsey? Jeremy, you almost ruined my experiment! What? Oh my god, did we have presentations today? No, Jeremy. Mr. Big Head had to leave early and for some reason he thought it would be a bright idea to let Gina run the class. She's been forcing us to watch her make a bomb. You're making a bomb? For the last time, I'm not making a bomb! I'm demonstrating a key concept of thermochemistry! <sighs> well, I accidentally dropped everything into the calorimeter so I don't actually know what's going to happen. Usually you only take a small sample size for these experiments, but I guess we're actually trying something new today. Wait, you mean this could be a new scientific discovery? Oh my god, that's actually kind of cool. You know what they say about some of the best inventions starting from accidents? Oh my gosh, you guys are right! I, I should be taking notes on this! This could be how I get my first Nobel Prize! I hate to say it, but maybe leaving Gina in charge is a good idea after all. You doubted my intellect? All right, I'm gonna turn the machine on now. Usually you're supposed to stand back in case of emergency, but I need to stay close to monitor its progress. Ooh, science. This should only take about a minute. Hello again, class. I'm just popping in real quick because I forgot to take attendance and Gina, what are you doing? 
She's making a bomb. I was planning on doing a conventional presentation on how to use a bomb calorimeter, but instead of using a small sample size, I accidentally dropped in two whole bags of candy. Not my proudest moment, but I think we might be onto something. G Gina, never mind that you completely went against the lesson plan. The calorimeter shouldn't be smoking like that. Not in a regular experiment, but in this one I'm- No, Gina. Under no circumstances should smoke be coming out of the calorimeter. You need to turn the machine off immediately and- <laughs> Gina? Are you okay? <coughs> so maybe this isn't how I get my first Nobel. Alright, she really did make a bomb! Oh my goodness. Clash, just to make sure you all did the reading, can anyone tell me two of the five types of thermodynamic systems? Oh, we didn't do the reading. Gina told us to do it for homework. She did? Yeah, I did. The chapter is so easy anyway, they could probably finish it in- Gina, I gave you one job and one job only. Your singular task for the day was to tell the students to read chapter 47 and answer the questions. One sentence is all you had to say. I know how passionate you are about chemistry, and I wouldn't have minded if you did this experiment after everyone finished. Now, the students have even more homework, and it's very likely this class is going to be behind by the time the final rolls around. <sighs> so much for you being cool, Gina. You have definitively failed the day. As punishment, I'll be seating you in the back of the class next year. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Dempsey. I didn't mean to make you angry. I'm not angry, Gina. Just disappointed. That makes it so much worse! Ah! So what does that mean for our study guides? I mean, it's not our fault we didn't do the work. Unfortunately, we're on a strict schedule to get you all on track for the final, and if any of you want to pass this class, we need to stay on track. I'm sorry, Lizzie, but I have to double the work on your study guides. Oh, come on, Gina! Shut up, Jeremy! If you hadn't shown up late, my experiment wouldn't have literally blown up in my face! Yeah, but if you had just let us do our work, we wouldn't be in this mess in the first place! Honey, hurry up! I'm waiting in the car! Class, I have to go. Learn to settle this on your own. And please get your classwork turned in by 11.59 tonight. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Gina. Yeah, I can't pretend to be your friend anymore after this. Guys, there has to be some way we can work this out. Oh, and Mr. Dempsey probably won't email me worksheets this weekend either because he's on vacation. Hey, I have an idea. What's that? Since we're going to the beach this weekend, we're not going to have time to study. And Gina's going to be bored all weekend because she can't study. What are you saying? If you agree to do our homework this weekend, we'll forgive you. We will... Yeah, duh! Of course we will! Uh, guys, you know that's cheating, right? Is it? Maybe it sounds like cheating, but Gina technically doesn't take this class, so even if Demps found out, it's not like she would get in trouble. Jeremy's got a point. But what if he does? He might not let me be teacher's name next year, and- and- Look, no one's gonna know as long as you give everyone different answers. And maybe it'll be fun for you to pretend to be as stupid as we are. Guys, I still don't know. I'll be your best friend. Ugh, oh, deal. At least it'll be more fun than cleaning this mess. Thanks, loser! I'm leaving now. You're what? Yeah, I gotta plan our route to the beach. Have fun drinking LaCroix. Uh, yeah, I think I have to go too. I'm currently in the middle of a custody battle. I should probably go do that. What? Dang it! Hey, where did everyone go? They all... I don't care. Bye, Gina. Jeez, that was rude of them and incredibly naive. Dear Mr. Dempsey, you will not believe what your students did after you left the Zoom. Actually, I don't think you'll be surprised at all. Immediately after your departure, your bumbling idiots that you call students tried to convince me to do their homework. Even after explicitly explaining to them that that's cheating, they continued to try and convince me. Now I pretended to agree, but you know I wouldn't ever